So this upcoming weekend, wifey and I, we're going to Atlanta. I got a project that I got to work on with my management team. And also, I'm going to be building with my homie Stally. He's a phenomenal lyricist, a phenomenal creative, phenomenal artist, uh, and an amazing human. And truly been a brother of mine for the past few years. And we had a chance to work on a few records back in 2020. So we're finally getting back together again. I'm, I'm probably the only one, but I wait till like 9, 10 o'clock to start packing it. In my mind, I feel like it ain't gonna take me long to pack. I know what I'm gonna wear. But then I get to my closet, I'm like, yo, I don't know what I'm gonna wear. <laughs> I was on the phone with my homie OV. He's gonna be there. He's another producer, uh, creative. I've looked up to him for years. And um, he's from the crib too, from St. Louis. I was on the phone with him. And we was like, yeah, bro, we just about done packing. I'm about to pack, finish packing and go cut the grass. It was like four or five o'clock. I'm like, God, Lee, boy, like, <laughs> my man done packing before, before dinner. One day, I'm going to get to that level. This trip is going to be very, very beautiful. So I'm bringing my OP1 field. Shout out to Teenage Engineer for, for blessing me doing. I'm bringing my machine. Shout out Native Instruments. I have it set up as a MIDI controller for Ableton. I've been using it more for Ableton now, which is dope. I have like a custom drum rack that I've been building off of. So it's very, very, it's been very, very beneficial. So I'll be bringing that thing too. And it's going to serve as my audio interface. So I got to bring the laptop that's very very important <laughs> i bring my headphones this right here these are ai 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 or ai 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 um come on focus there you go oh oh there you go uh these are wireless studio monitors amazing 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 like they you don't have to worry about the latency or here's well that's the receiver i just showed you this these actual headphones so i'll be bringing these for sure uh, amazing like sound quality near zero latency I don't know how they did that but it's it's freaking phenomenal <laughs> Lando you gotta work yeah that's what I'm doing now that's why I'm kind of all right. <laughs> all in it, all <laughs> like this, bro. I know. I was gonna Sorry, wear I'm not it. as uh, I, was wear it. I, I only thought yesterday that like I should have took off today, today. too, because I oh, took off yeah. Monday to like reset. Like I hate right. traveling and then being having to go right back into work, yeah. even though I'm still work that day, because I'm still doing like vision stuff. Mm -hmm. But I'm like, geez. Watch. Yo, they pulled out all uh, the stops. We got the. I've never even heard of Murad. Oh, yeah, no, that's a good skincare. Yo, the team, they blessed us with some amazing pieces. We got a. We got some E. Saint Laurent. Cologne. Some Cologne. Bay. They got Bay some Lash. Some. Lash Clash. Okay, babe, what's your last clash? I will, I will use it forever. We in this thing. We in this thing. We in this thing. We got married. We got married down the street. We in Atlanta. We got married down the street. You are. Um, I gotta get dressed into this like athleisure type of look. So, I'm kind of wearing it now. But you know, I got pro. I got my homie. Um, Chris at Profield Reserve back in St. Louis. I got this sweater on. Probably I, I need to do something with no words. So, all right, y'all, gotta get ready. Oh, was a cure. You said nice of Columbus. dinner and it's gonna be fire. I don't know what we eat, but and then 
next week. It's gonna be all music. We had these sandwiches today. The sandwiches kind of hit. I ain't gonna hold you. Well, mine was. I think I was just hungry. I ain't. I ain't eat nothing all day. So that was that was amazing to me. But yeah. So we all just outside chilling. I'm gonna try to make this as quick as I can because OB hit me up I'm like, man, I'm going to the gym this morning, bro. I'm like, all right, look, we gotta get it in because I've always wanted to work out with Lando because this man literally is kind of to me the picture of health. Like my pops is, I got a few, I got a few people who are pictures of health. My wife, my pops, and Lando now. I'm getting a chance to work out with him today. Before he, before him and Taylor head back to Austin, this weekend was a week I didn't I did not expect this weekend to be as amazing as it was. Yesterday we were on set at this location to film this 60 second video um, promoting my my management team's official launch, and it was phenomenal. It was a whole movie set. I mean, we had a, there was a camera crew, um, and it wasn't just like, you know, them holding little DSLRs, you know what I'm saying, or even, you know, kind of like little, little, uh, stabilizers. They actually had, like, the crane joints when they, uh, the, like the bodysuit joint with the, with the, with the camera, like, hoisted in front of them so they can hold it. They had the lens, lenses about this big. You know what I'm saying? They have monitors all around the crib to so you can see different points of views. It was, and the quality was something that you would see on like an A24 production. But I'm so thankful to have been a part of this. And um, my team is just so amazing. And today is my last day here. And then for the next couple of days, I'm heading over to my guy, to my guy Stally's crib. Him and I, we're gonna build, make some music, and yeah, it's just gonna be a mo it's just gonna be a, another movie all over again. So I can't wait to share this because it's gonna be so beautiful. But let's get this workout in.
This was an amazing, unforgettable weekend. You know, wifey and I, we went to Atlanta, got a chance to meet my team, Agency Clickish. I met the other creators that they manage, that they work with. And what's dope about this team is that I'm the first male talent that they have, that they have. They primarily work with black women talent. So I was surrounded by some incredible, intelligent, and amazing black women and I'm just so blessed. I'm so thankful. Like weekends like this really just show me how much God has guided my life. And all he asked me to do was just to, just to trust him with my music, trust him with my career, trust him with the decisions that um, Chelsea and I make. And everything else is gonna be added. And I'm just so grateful because May and May and June have been impeccable months. And I can even go a little bit further. I wasn't going to share this until later, but back in May, on May 5th, y'all may, may remember my video that I had put up about maintaining consistency and balance and you know how to create as life happens. I put that video up back in, back in April. Um, and it was around the time when I was still working my job. And, you know, I shot that video back when we was at our old spot when I was still working. And the whole purpose the whole purpose of that video was to talk about how i managed balancing working full time in a very demanding job while also creating being a creative being a music producer since then i've actually left my job may 5th was my last day in my at my full time job and that was my first day pursuing music full time and really betting on myself it wasn't a rash or drastic decision at all it was something that Chelsea and I talked about for, we've talked about this for about a year now. For two years now, we, we knew we wanted to do this. We knew this was gonna, was gonna happen, but we just needed to continue to work and continue to, you know, to stack our bread up and really create a plan in, in, in a sense of what that's gonna look like because financial security is important. Doing this creative work, you don't know when your next check gonna come. So you gotta make sure you know how to budget. And now, because we stepped out in that faith, we said, you know, God, we're going to trust in you. You know, so many things have happened and so many things are currently happening. And so many things are happening that I can't even talk about yet to the point where it's just, it's just, it's just amazing. I got a chance to pull up with Stally. Him and I made some, got some classics. We made some music this weekend. I wanted to try to get a video made, but we just didn't have the time. Um... So I stayed a couple extra days. I got a chance to hear what he's been working on, uh, kick it with his family and, you know, has to share some meals and good conversations. He got me he got me on Fortnite now. Nevertheless, I'm really excited about this direction that he's taking this music. It's gonna sonically, it's gonna be a lot, it's gonna be really different than what he's done before. I'm extremely energized to see how this music resonates. And I also got a chance to meet another producer. His name's Natra. He pulled up the other the other night, and we just we made music, man. We were just working. We were, we made we made a bunch of music. Natra, he's the homie now. Uh, him and I are gonna work on a lot more records. He's been a part of some amazing records as well. Um, so I'm just super thankful to you know be able to work with him now. Um, yeah, y'all, stay tuned. More on the way. And yeah, y'all be blessed.